guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day. So what I've got for you today is some FSD beta version 10.11 unprotected left testing. And before we get started, I wanted to mention my Twitter and YouTube friend Sam Reeves gave me the tip to adjust the visualization during the attempts. So I wanted to say thanks to Sam for the tip and encourage you to check out his channel. He makes some great analytical FSD beta content as well. Uh, the link is in the description. So here we go on the first attempt. And you can see how I've adjusted the visualization like he told me to. Uh, let's see how we do. It looks like there's just traffic from the right hand side. And waiting for the SUV. So those that was fine, it just got itself um, into the oncoming lane a bit too early, but oh well. <laughs> so that's one pass. And you can see there were some construction personnel today where I normally test. Um, so I tried to find new places to, to do the testing so we don't interfere with the construction folks. Okay, so attempt number two, waiting for some traffic. And I was really happy with the performance here. I didn't press the pedal at all in this case. So that's two passes so far. All right, attempt number three. You can see I'm in a new location, so I don't disrupt the construction folks. And the one truck. Oh, and then we have a Toyota doing a U-turn on the right side there, which confuses the system, makes it a little hesitant, but ultimately it's able to handled the situation with no problem. So that's three passes. Pretty good performance so far. Okay, on the fourth attempt. You can see there's just no visibility to the left there, but thankfully there's no traffic and the system's able to complete the fourth attempt. I need to remember to wait until there's traffic before beginning the attempt. That's something I'll work on in the in the future. So the fifth attempt, let's see how we do. We got four passes so far and no failures. So we're waiting for the pedestrian, waiting for the bus, waiting for the Volvo to go by. And see there's just no visibility to the left. And then there's a Subaru. So unfortunately I had to take over. We did fail. I'm gonna go frame by frame for a second here, guys. Um, so you can see the top camera here is uh, a camera mounted on the window looking right over the driver's mirror. So the FSD system is treating the curb as the threshold that needs to stay behind. But in reality, there's a parking lane here and that's the ultimate actual threshold. So in my opinion, the system's waiting too far back and then going with no visibility instead of creeping forward to where it can see well enough. Um, so if you look here on the top camera, we can just barely start to see the Subaru. And on our visualization, we see a solid blue tentacle, which means the car intends to continue and there's no Subaru visualized. Let's go a few more frames and now we can clearly see the Subaru on the top camera. The car, um, it's just started to vi visualize the Subaru, but it's like inside the median. This yellow area is the median section, which now if you look on the top camera, my cursor, that median there is the yellow part on the visualization. Let's go a few more frames. And when, when this tentacle goes away or when it goes gray right there, that's where I apply the brakes. Um, and keep an eye on the FSD beta icon. Um, so you'll see, so right now I've taken over by pressing the brakes, but you'll see the delay in that icon going away. Um, so you can see I slow down immediately and stop to let the Subaru continue. And you see where I've stopped is in line with the cars in the parking lane. And I think that's a safe location to stop. And in my opinion, FSD beta should roll out this far before starting its attempt on the unprotected left. So it should start here and then creep out to start to get visibility on the two moving lanes. Um, but that's not what it did. It started the attempt much earlier and then just went with no visibility. Okay, I think that's enough for that one. So it's one fail and uh, four passes. All right, let's see how we do on the sixth and final attempt. So we're in the same spot as last time and there's just no visibility to the left. You can see from the top camera. 
and waiting for traffic on the right. And if you see where the car's stopping, in my opinion, it's much too far back. It should be start stopping the width of a car forward from here. Right about here is where it should be stopping. And this time I did have to hit the accelerator to move in front of the Toyota. So I'll just rewind it real quick for you guys. And we can see here, um, unfortunately I, I didn't move the visualization this time, but clearly we see the Subaru on the top camera and the car has a solid blue line, which means it intends to complete the maneuver. And we're going three miles per hour, just basically rolling slowly in front of this Toyota. And that's why I decided to hit the accelerator. If I'd hit the brake, we would have been in the way of the, of the Toyota there. So I think I did the right thing and saved them uh, basically the, the hassle. Um, I think if I had not intervened, there wouldn't have been an accident, but the Toyota driver would have been bothered by my actions. Yep, so that's all I've got for you today. We had four passes, one fail, and one where I had to intervene, but wasn't totally a failure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and leave me a comment. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.